morning everyone. Thank you very much for having me here. I think it's a, you know, the real need of the hour is entrepreneurship. And uh, I think entrepreneurship is a fuel on which this economy will be propelled going forward. But please understand that we will have to do our business in India. So how do you do business in a country which has got 2,000 castes and sub-castes, 22,000 villages and dialects, and 300 ways of cooking the potato? We live in a country of Murtis, Munjas, and Malaikas, and Malikas. If you look at the state of Uttar Pradesh, fondly called as Ulta Pradesh, it accounts for 10% of our population, 20% of our industry, 40% of pollution, and 80% of our prime ministers. <laughs> How do we convert Ulta Pradesh into Ultimate Pradesh? But in India, there is hope. It's a land of possibilities. India has been known to hold its nerves, to flex its sinews, and India's self-confidence comes from a sober certitude of self-knowledge. A very good morning to all of you. It's a Monday morning. So I hope you had a good sleep and had fun on Sunday. So I'm just going to keep it very simple. It's called the KISS formula. Keep it short and sweet. So my experience uh, in the last 19 years, uh, I've been with two serial entrepreneurs. One was, the first one was with IKEA Human Capital Solution, a person called Ajit Isaac. Uh, for people who are belong to my age, or a little bit older, older or wiser than me, met, I've heard of this company called uh, People One Consulting. It was India's, uh, one of the India's biggest HR recruitment firms. And this was started by this uh, Ajit Isaac at the age of 32 years. And uh, this company, I mean, when he started this company, he just had a checkbook. And he was practically on the road and a laptop. And he built this company to 400 crores. Not 400 crores, he built this company and in a matter of four years, sold this company to Adico Human, uh, Adico in, uh, Limited, which is the world's largest uh, HR recruitment firm based in Switzerland. And that was the first time, you know, an Indian HR firm was acquired by a, a world conglomerate. And then after selling that company, he started this brand called Ica Human Capital Solution, in which I was a part of that management team. And today this company has uh, reached a level of 1,500 crores in a matter of again four years. And he has diluted his stake by selling it to Thomson Cook at some 78% stake. So that's one of my experience. And my second experience has been with uh, Manish Sabriwal. So he is an MBA from Watten. And he started this company called uh, Team Lease. Okay. And uh, which is India's largest, uh, again, uh, HR recruitment firm, direct competitor to IK Human Capital. And uh, I was part of that team which, uh, you know, which uh, raised funds from ICC Venture and bought this company called IIGT Education. So my uh, insights today for all of you is going to be based on the experience which I had with these serial entrepreneurs. You know, most of uh, most of us over here and many of us outside have this myth that entrepreneurship is about money. You need capital, you need money to start your own business. Okay? In reality, it is not. There is a very famous adage which says like this, people as early as you can money as late as you can okay so entrepreneurship is not about one genius sitting somewhere in the corner of the room having all the brilliant ideas it's still about a team you still need to feel, uh, find people who are aligned with you who share their own vision who share your vision rather so and the key and the fundamental you know component in building a company to scale is the diversity Jawaharlal Nehru Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Vallabhai Patel, all of them were instrumental in getting India freedom. But the diary which Nehru wrote in 1938 speaks about that all of them were different, their outlook were different, their beliefs were different, their convictions were different, their methods were different, but the destination or the cause was same, to get India freedom. 
So diversity brings you know different type of skill sets on the table, and it's very important to have diverse team when you build your organic build your company. Second most important thing is that you know momentum. Momentum is a very strange animal. Okay, waiting improves outcome, but momentum, but you kill momentum. So momentum is very important when you start a company. Too much of waiting can lead to a break in momentum. The third most important thing when you start a company is that you know the color of the money is more important than the quantum of the money. Whom are you raising these funds from when you start your company? Who are your private equity investors? Who are your stakeholders? Are they going to work with you in partnership? This is also very important. Where you stand on an issue depends upon where you sit on the issue. Okay, when you start a company, first of all, your idea is ridiculed. Oh, you can't do it. It's not the right thing. What are you doing? Why are you wasting your money? You are leaving a job. Ridicule. Then it is opposed vehemently. Then it becomes self-evident. So every entrepreneur goes to these three stages: ridiculed, opposed, and it becomes accepted or self-evident. In the movie. Rashomon by Akira Kurosawa, four people witness a murder. Okay, they see the same murder, they witness the same murder, but all of them narrate this murder very differently. And when these people start watching this movie once again, they again narrate the movie very differently, or the murder very differently. What it goes to state is that entrepreneurship is not about being consistent. It's about evolving. It's about being successful. But in the beginning, you have to walk the road alone. In the beginning, so walk. Diminishing returns. Some people postpone their decision making because they want to analyze more. But more of analysis, you know, doesn't improve outcomes. The Nobel Prize winner Simon Herbert said that. Human intangibles like brain, information, time have limited endowments. In the long run, too much of analysis will kill your company. So, be very careful. It's a very thin line. If you start doing something very early, then you kill the birthright. And if you start do something, doing something late, you take away the destiny. So, my recommendation for all of you out here is that you must read this book, uh, the Everything Told. By Jeff Bezos. Okay, I don't know how many of you have, have you read this book. You know who is Jeff Bezos? Eh? Okay, this is the founder of Amazon. Okay, today Amazon is a 190 billion on market capitalization, and has still not made profit. So it's a story of somebody who is able to negotiate with the investor. Of short-term profit metrics versus long-term, you know, impact. So you don't have to be always profitable to build a big brand like Flipkart. Fourth round of funding over, but still not profitable. So read this book. This is this is important, and uh, you know, so the key takeaways from this, uh, you know, from this session is very simple. It's not money. Okay, keep that out of your mind. That you need to have money. You need to have capital. It's not about money. Is there anything called perfect marriage? Is there any, anything called perfect guy, perfect girl? You marry, right? Only when the rubber hits the road, you know the impact. You take a risk. Okay. So entrepreneurship is a marriage without a divorce. In marriage, you can divorce. Okay. So there is no perfect idea, no perfect opportunity. You take a chance. If hundred rupee was lying on the road, will anybody pick it up? No, because you feel if hundred rupee is lying on the road, somebody else will pick up. No, somebody would have picked it up by now. Why is it still lying on the road? So you can copy an idea. Great opportunities lie in lonely spaces. Okay, so there is nothing called perfect idea. There is nothing called perfect business plan. There is nothing called perfect opportunity. Entrepreneurship is the art of staying long. To get lucky, it's hypothesis testing. You don't know what is right, but you have to 
make everything wrong. It's just like a bath. If people don't take a bath, you notice. But if people take a bath, nobody notices. Okay? So all of you out here, it's a even playing arena, it's a great opportunity. Amidst the chaos chaos which India has as a country, I think it's a great opportunity for any one of you with ambition, with desire, with determination, with grit. Any any transformation, any movement doesn't require superhuman grace. It requires grit, it, it requires determination. Okay, if you look at India as a country, 50% of our labor workforce are self-entrepreneurs. 220 million, which means you open a tea store, you call yourself an entrepreneur, right? The person who presses your clothes in your neighborhood is also an entrepreneur. But the problem is that they are doff. The difference between the baby and the doff is that the doff will never grow and the baby grows. And the difference in the baby and the doff is in the DNA, is in the architecture, okay? So I'm sure and uh, wish you all the best. And hopefully that one of you should, you know, come and make the next big Amazon. Okay, I have said I ambition, don't limit your goals, expand your horizon and come with big dream and wish you all the best. Thank you. Very small poem. Sadhu bhi ka akela hai, parivar nahi to chala hai, ekantron ke chal chitro mein yaadon ke hajar zamela hai. मनमानी जिस्म के मरे बिना कोई भी संत नहीं होता सपने जीते हैं सपने मरते हैं सपनों को कोई अंत नहीं